with a 13-5 record. He pinned Logan Agan in two minutes and 34 seconds to earn this bout against Latona. Latona, the two seed, enters his third ACC championship as a top two seed in as many tries and will look to return to the podium. First title at 125 pounds in 2021 after his second place finish last season at 125 with the two seed Latona facing Oreen of NC State. Pat Papalizio and Kevin Jack in the corner for Kai. In the regular season, it was Latona 3-1 over the Wolfpack youngster. That's a pretty tight match, so this is going to be a good one. Oh, yeah. We should see some big exchanges, I hope. So here we go. And the fans are into this one already, right out the gate. Kai, the redshirt sophomore for NC State from Imperial, Missouri. Thumb blocking right over the top. Trying to make sure that Latona isn't able to use his underhook, or not his underhook, his collar tie well. Got a little battle here at the wrists. Guys are controlling fingers there. Matt won coverage of Kyle Reen, NC State, and Sam Latona, Virginia Tech. No score early doors. Ricky Felipe, who I think has been at Pitt seven years, if I have that right. He's been there a long time. Taking on UVA's Yarbrough over on Matt, too. Sean and Rock have the coverage of that one. You know, it's interesting. I actually believe Mickey transferred from the University of Virginia to the University of Pittsburgh. Okay, maybe that's part of the reason he's been around for so long. I think he's been wrestling for, for I mean, obviously, there was a retro year in there, but he's been around for a while. Yeah, he has been. That COVID year, man. Yeah. He won uh, at Virginia Tech, the ACC Outstanding Wrestler. It feels like a gazillion years ago at the castle. He came out hot on uh, his first year at Pittsburgh. He does a really good job working the two on one. Um, he's very effective there. He does a good job getting to that tie. Slows guys down from there, controls him. He's able to get to offense with it. As I mentioned, Latona with a 3-1 regular season victory over Kai. What's interesting about this matchup is body type and styles. So these guys have different styles of wrestling, but both are very exciting to watch. Latona is a little longer. He's got more length, uh, more reach. He's able to create a little bit more leverage. Kai is really athletic in his nimble almost. If you watch him in the room, he's, he's very acrobatic. He can cartwheel over guys, cartwheel through positions, hip over, does some pretty exciting stuff, and is very flexible as well. And so these guys have very different styles of wrestling, but it makes for an exciting match. And so that's part of the reason why I've been so excited to watch this match specifically today. And uh, another thing two fans can think about is when you see guys here in this type of moment where they both have their hands on each other, but there's not a whole lot of action going on. What's going on is guys are feeling out the position. They're feeling out their ties. Somebody's working to get a collar tie. The other person's trying to stop the person from using their collar tie and also trying to get a tie of their own to create offense, to create angles, to push, to pull, to create some sort of offensive opportunity. There he is. Yeah, Pat oh, Papalizio. Pat Pops. <laughs> we can double this. <laughs> 11 season. I mean, he's got a following. I mean, when he goes out in Raleigh, people know who he is. Kind of like you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, Pat, Pat's awesome, man. He's done an incredible job here at NC State. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's special what he's been able to do with the program here, given the, the resources that are available. I mean, to be fair, he's made NC State a wrestling school. I mean, it is a wrestling school. He has. He has. He's had, we were talking about it earlier, he's had three national champions, and he's had six wrestlers go to the finals. That's awesome. That's incredible, man. And four straight ACC tournament titles trying to make it five in front of what we think 
will be a record crowd by the end of the day. That's what we're hoping for. Brandon Knapp from the ACC thinks there's a good chance. There's only a few tickets remaining. And Pat Papalizio, you see his numbers right there. Eight titles, four tournaments, four dual meets. And a great person too, right, Mock? Absolutely. Looking for our first points here. Tona trying to spin out. There it is. Latona on the board. Good shot attempt on the edge there by Kai. Kai Reen with 30 seconds of riding time. So here, back to what I was discussing earlier, where these guys are kind of feeling out the position, feeling out ties, gauging pressure. So if you notice, look at the feet of each wrestler. They're driving into each other. Right? They're using that back foot. They're creating pressure. So while you have a collar tie or you have a thumb block over the top, you're driving into one another here, trying to create pressure. And what happens is when you create that pressure, that gives you an opportunity to work. Whether you have an underhook, whether you have a collar tie, if someone's pressuring back into you, you can snap. If you have an underhook, maybe you can throw a bye. It just creates opportunities to work. And so here, these guys are feeling each other out, creating pressure, trying not to pressure back in too much so the other doesn't have anything to work with. And it's a lot of recognition, right? Can I feel what's going on? And so it doesn't look like a whole lot's going on, but there's so much nuance that's happening here in these ties. Mock bringing the heat here for the semifinals. Love it. And you know all of the wrestling fans there's so many now the wrestling's so big at the college level now. oh huge and the sport of mma has done mm. us wonders because we found we started to have amateur wrestlers coach roby here on the screen sixth season he's done a tremendous job there over virginia tech so mock i did talk to him and reminded him of when they won it here, he said he didn't know what his situation was. And then, obviously, after winning the tournament here at Reynolds, he felt pretty good about his situation, <laughs> right, Bob? Yeah, I would have felt pretty good about it, too, after that. Yeah, I had a good chat with him right before, and now we're tied at one. One, one, minute and 45 seconds left to go here in the third period with an opportunity to go to the ACC Finals. Not just that, but the implications for the team race here, specifically because it's Virginia Tech versus NC State. Excellent point. So that's part of what makes this match even more exciting than, than a typical regular NCAA, uh, uh, ACC semifinals match. Whoever wins this match Here we go. is putting their team in a position to take the lead in the team race. Sam Latona with the takedown here. Yeah, he turned defense into offense right there as the shot came from Oreen and great defense. Great defense, great counter. Just like you said, really good job by the by Sam Latona. So we got a replay. Shot attempt, but great job looking on corner underhook to the to the far well, side pick. Play person. And if you replay it one more time, if you get a chance, you'll notice that when he was looking for the finish, he started to elevate elevate that bottom foot off the mat. And the reason why that's important is nice to a lot. Great job. A little overextended, but he got his lock. He's able to work. His elbows are tight to his body. Looking to get the corner. If he can step over, drive. Great pressure towards the far side leg. If he can elevate this, get his shoulder tight behind the hamstring, he can secure the finish here. But Latona's doing a good job using the edge. You notice he's trying to scoot him out of bounds. Nice. Great job by Kai. He drops. Let's see what happens here. He can look for a cradle potentially, but he just got to keep weight on that foot so Latona, Latona can't roll through. Cradle locked up, and he's on his head. There it is. Take down. And he can look for back points here if he can keep him in bounds. He's got to be smart about how he approaches this, though, because you don't want to get stuck on your back going for a suicide cradle. This is massive here. Big exchange. Ten seconds left. And this is going to throw the brick if they didn't get those points. Look at him. Yeah, Bobs is into it, too. He was going to throw the brick if they didn't get it right there. You know it. It's oh, yeah. three. Absolutely. Now Latona's got 10 seconds. This is going to be 
The exciting 10 seconds. Latona tries to get up. Uh -oh. Held down. Now he'll try to oh, roll out of it. Floating his hips. That's that cartwheel. Those acrobatic type abilities that Kai has. Oh, my gosh. Was that time? Wow. Was that time? I believe it was. I think Kai's going to come out on top of this, but you know they're going to throw the brick. Coach Roby's. Wow, what a match. What a match. Coach Roby's throwing the brick. Challenging. What do you think? I mean, what did you see? Did I you love see? wrestling. Man. <laughs> That's what I think. I love it too, man. I love working with you as well. <laughs> Let's take a look at that final sequence, and then we'll try to figure out what Coach Roby is throwing the brick on. Tell me what you see here, Mike. So right here, Kai's trying to float his hips. Latona's trying to roll through, but Kai cartwheels over. And what Latona does here is he's driving off that far foot and somehow manages to get his hips back over. Oh, yeah, they went to two right there. Right? Yeah. And, and honestly, that's a reversal. But the problem is, was it within the time? The 10 seconds. Was it within the 10 seconds? Did the clock run out before that was secured? Because they could be in the middle of the roll through, but if it's not within the 10 seconds, there's no score. Kyrene wins, and he goes to the finals. So we'll see. All right, there you got the clock now. Bring it down, Mark, because the clock's up there on the right. Eight seconds left. Cartwheel's over. Five, four, three. Tell me when you think he's got it. One. Time. Ooh. Did he have it? That's a right as you were call. saying time was going to be Oh, I my goodness. See that a little slower. That's a tough call. I don't know what the refs are going to decide. To be honest, I'd hate to be the ref in this position. 133, there'll be three NCAA qualifiers, so Ooh, the winner gets call. an automatic AQ. We should put it up on the big screen. Let the fans decide. <laughs> The loser will have to go through the consolation bracket. What a match. And they're going to say it was too late. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Kai has some Hawaiian roots. And if you ever watch rugby, you see these guys, they do the haka, and they stick their tongues out like that. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> There it is again. <laughs> that man is amped up. What a match. He is on his way to the ACC Finals. This is the winning takedown. Great job. So Kai's doing a great job keeping pressure and weight on that left foot. Look at Pat Papa <laughs> easier on the corner. It's funny to watch his reactions. Two takedowns. So once you've got a, a lock, a cradle locked up, if your opponent is on their hip, that's two. 